Blast me to hoff! It's time for the Mad Merlin's unboxing of Star Wars Legion Blizzard Force. Battle Force starter set by Atomic Mass Games for the Star Wars Legion miniatures game. Hello and welcome back to another Mad Merlin's unboxing. So today we're looking at the Blizzard Force Battle Force starter set for Star Wars Legion by Atomic Mass Games and this is for the Empire faction. The Battle Forces are a brand new thing that allows you to collect a themed bundle of an army. In this case the Galactic Empire in themed towards the Battle of Hoth. As you can see from the front box we've got Stormtrooper, Snowtroopers up front, Vader, an ATST, Snowtroopers, and an E Web there, plus some speeder bikes. We got some 8080s up in the background there, looking all imposing. But very nice picture artwork there. And like I said, the Battle Forces are fiend boxes that gathers a collection of miniatures, fiend to a specific Battle Force. In this case, the squadron of um, ground attack troopers that assaulted the Echo Base in The Empire Strikes Back. So we'll get on to price at the end of the video. So if you do pick one of these up, the only other thing you really do need to get is the Essentials Kit, which is $29.99 and it gives you your movement tools, your range rulers, your objective markers, leader markers, unit markers, and various other things, including all your um, game setup cards, so mission, uh, objectives, and no, sorry, mission, deployment, and um, environmental effects. But we do get a lot of the um, basic command cards in this. Let's have a look at the back of the box now. Show you the contents. <clears throat> so for the contents we get Darth Vader. This is the core set Vader, so not the best Vader sculpt. I'd much prefer the um, operative one, but he's still a pretty good model. Uh, perfect for beginner painters. Not a lot of um, ornate detail and a very open pose, so you can get to all the details that are there. We get two squadrons of the 74Z speeder bikes. I always keep calling them the Z4 as the 7 speeder bikes. That must be my dyslexia. <laughs> but yeah, these again are the core set ones. You can tell because we've got the sergeant who is pointing backwards. The main, the um, individual box has two pilots both facing forward. We get three sets of the snowtroopers, and these are usable as two new two units. So the snowtroopers themselves, and we got a brand new unit, which again we'll get into. That is exclusive to this set. And finally, the big pull to this set for myself it is the ATST. It is a beautiful kit, and. One of the earlier Legion kits, and one I have not picked up in all the years I've been collecting. He just looks good, the classic chicken walker. So definitely going to get this guy built up and themed up on the base for Hoth. So let's have a little blurb here. Oh, we also connect, contain three new Force Command cards, exclusive only for Blizzard Force. So let's have a look at read here of the blurb. So, Blizzard Force was the elite unit that spearheaded the Imperial Assault on Echo Base. Specialised in cold weather operations, Blizzard Force is ready to serve the Empire in even the harshest of climates. The specially trained troopers of Blizzard Force carried out the orders of Darth Vader himself at the Battle of Hoth, ruthlessly sweeping aside any rebel resistance in pursuit of a singular goal, the destruction of the Rebel Shield Generator. So contents, we get 27 miniatures, 9 unit cards, 10 command cards, 28 upgrade cards, a token sheet, and we get a insert sheet, which gives you a QR code to scan to access the rules and the building instructions. So we'll definitely need those. But 
I think we've talked enough about the outside of the box. Let's bring in my trusty hobby knife and open up and see what's inside. So, here we go. The big tip out, as they say. And we'll put that in the background there. So here we have our insert, just says to use the QR code to access your um, assembly instructions. And on the other side, we got the beautiful Blizzard Force artwork there, which is definitely going to get framed. Very nice. So only a single sheet of tokens. So we get Vader, three squads of Stormtroopers, the Speeder Bikes and the ATSD. We get Set of Wound Counters, Damage and Ion Counters, Surge Counters, um, oh sorry, and Flamer and um, Ion. Then we get Panic, um, Suppression Tokens, Damage Tokens for your Walker. Dodge and aim and a overwatch token. So there we have the other side. Nice selection of tokens. The surge tokens is a fairly new mechanic, so it's nice to get a bunch of those. There we are. So what we do have here, we have a lot of plastic. We also get a bunch of cards. So these are our unit cards and our upgrade cards. We'll take a close look at those in a minute. So we got two bags of bases. So we got our ATST and our speeder bikes plus the flight stands for speeder bikes there. And we got all our infantry bases there. These are just the standard gray bases, which are new to all Legion units. We used to get two coloured um, bases, but now it's just all grey. It's a bit of a cost cutback to save on um, printing specific color, specifically coloured plastic. So, got the ATST in three baggies. Take a close look at all those components later because I've never seen one of these. We got the speeder bikes here. So, all the components for the speeder bikes, including. The um, back end of the engines, the air intakes there, the pedals, and the um, balance vanes at the front there. And then we get a big old bag full of our Stormtroopers and Vader. So we'll have a look at those individually in a minute. So that is it. I'm going to go and zoom in and we'll take a close look at the contents of those baggies. So we'll start off with all our infantry. So we'll take them all out. So other than Vader, all these baggies include three models. So Vader there, let's take them out, have a look at him. So we got the lightsaber and as expected, there's a bit of a bend there. Just heat that up with some warm water and it should po uh, re uh, bend it back into shape easily. And then we got the three components of the torso, which is the main torso and the head. So three components total then with the arm, which I was trying to say. What I'm going to do when I paint this guy for my get started, I'm going to attach the arm like so, paint that up and leave this separate so that I can paint all the folds of the cloak and the back there just so I can go to town on this guy. My first one I glued all into one piece and painted it pretty basically really. I definitely wanted to spend a little more time on this guy and make him stand out on the tabletop. So we've got one snow trooper there, 
three, well, three, but one design. Another snow trooper there. There's our third snow trooper. So they're all made up of the same sort of components. Two arms, the main body, and the legs. We got one of our heavy weapon snow troopers there. Our flame trooper. That's the forward facing scout for our speeder bikes. Ah, okay. So it looks like, although the back picture shows the um, starter set scouts, these are actually the scouts from the uh, expansion version of the snow, uh, speeder bikes, as they are all facing in that forward position. So that's pretty cool, actually. Nice that we've got some different uh, speeder bikes because I've got three sets of the core set ones already so it's nice to get two sets of the actual uh, individual box then finally we've got another storm trooper snow trooper there another one just with the standard e11 blaster and finally we have our storm trooper commanders with their pointing arm and their e11 slightly raised and they are lovely models. Let's just get this guy out and have a look at the detail. So there we have that standard sort of snow trooper appearance. Quite a few uh, mold lines, but these clean up quite nicely, fairly easily. There's not too much in the way of detail on these to damage, which is good. You see he's got a set of binoculars there, a pistol pouch, ammo holster and a holster there for his E11. His legs will slot in like so. And then we can put on his arms. So he's sort of directing the fire of his squad. There we have him. I have seen quite a few people paint these up in various different colour schemes. You could use these as mud troopers from the Nimbin campaign. Featured in Solo, I know there's a lot of people wishing they would see official rules for Mud Troopers. Because there was quite a lot of um, love for Solo. I, for one, enjoyed it. It's a brilliant film. But it's just a pity we're not going to get that um, rumoured sequel. Sadly, the haters have won out on that. Alright, let's bring in the free bags for the ATST. So we've got the actual main head of the ATST here itself. Um, just like Spiky Bits uh, mentioned, I will say that they have done several um, minor sub assemblies already for you. Ooh, that's a bit broken. I have to repair that. Oh dear. Super glue job. Some of these bits would have been separate components, but they have been um, tidied up and put together for you just to make it a little easier personally i wouldn't have minded it looks a fairly simple kit to go together we've got the top hatch there the handrails the drive motors at the back there and some nice underside detail as well i'll put that damaged bit back in so i don't lose it Then we got the top half of the legs. So we got two halves of the legs there. Part of the actual leg joint itself. The ball joint. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to be the one that goes into the yeah the bottom of the ATST itself. And you've got these components, which looks like they go slotting together like so. So it's going to be a fairly easy kit to put together. You might have a few mold lines that need cleaning up, but other than that, it's fairly easy. It should go together with super glue, I believe, as this is the older style material, the 
resin plastic hybrid. And as you can see just on the inside, you've got an R there and an L there. So the R, they are um, left and right specific. That's pretty cool. Nice lot of extra components here. I'm guessing these are different components to help make the kit. It's a very poseable kit. So you've got bits that help fill up detail. The uh, gun mount there. Yeah. Definitely looking like a very fun kit to build. Like I said, I've never built one myself before. And this was the main draw of the Battle Force itself for me. And then we got the other bag here of the components. So we got all the weapons. These feet, again, left and right. So you see you got the L there. And the R just there. Got the other half of the legs. So this is the actual top piece of the legs. We got the forward facing chin blasters, the mortar launcher, I believe, and I think that is a uh, laser cannon array that goes on the side. Now we have the actual leg support platform itself so legs will go on there torso will go there that looks really good nice lot of detail see all those ribbed pipes there all these um, sockets for additional equipment that the ATST can be equipped with in the law yeah all in all a really nice kit definitely gonna have fun building and painting that for my lizard force And another weapon of some sort there, looks like it. I believe there's a missile pod and a mortar. We'll have a look at that actually in a minute, because we are about to go into the cards. So, speaking of upgrades, here we have our sets of cards. So we've got our command cards and unit cards there, and our upgrades. So we'll look at those second. First off, we've got... Uh, command cards for Darth Vader, Implacable, New Ways to Motivate Them, Master of Evil. We've got the Blizzard Force exclusive one, so Unrelenting Fire, one pip targeting two units, Blizzard Force only. Enemy units cannot remove more than one suppression token during their rally step. Nice. Overwhelming Barrage, so again, two units, two pips, Blizzard Force only. Once this round, at the end of the activation of a friendly leader unit, it may perform an attack using the following weapon. So you've got a range four to maximum, four black dice, converting surges into hits, blast, beam, immune, deflect, and suppressive. Then we got Debark for Ground Assault for three pips, so three units, Blizzard Force only, each trooper unit, Tar that is issued an order with this gains spur and the weapon of each friendly troop unit issued an order by this card gains suppressive nice and then we have the four generic command cards there so ambush push assault and standing orders and then we got our units so we just got snow troopers there after you perform a move action, you may perform a free ranged attack action for steady. Nice. So three of those. We got Vader's card there. With all his impressive stats. Six red dice with his lightsaber. Ouch. And there's the ATST. So 11 wounds. Eight is its threshold for becoming damaged. It defense surge it only has white really i would have thought that thing would have had a red defense dice so we got its upgrades here uh fence cutting blades so that's its toe claws and then we've got the ms4 twin blaster cannon there it has arsenal two so one attacking each mini in this unit can use up to two of its weapons it has a weak point in its rear and has of course armor so fixed front, the defender must be in your front arc for firing and impact free, so you can convert your free hits to criticals. 
your add two speeder bike so these are the same as your uh, basic speeder bikes from the core set or the expansion set in this case and then we have the new and exclusive to this uh, battle force unit so stormtroopers heavy response unit so we got three models and you must equip this uh, with two heavy upgrades so I think that makes it a squad of five in total then so yeah you'd have three plus two heavies that's pretty cool unless they're changing it so that up um, heavies replace a generic trooper but these were included basically to give you some more bang for your buck from your set because as you get two special weapons per um, snow trooper squad this is intended to allow you to create a specific unit with um, additional troops there with loads of heavy weapons so you are precise so you re-roll an extra dice with your spender aim token you're unhindered, so you ignore effects of terrain, and you have special issue to Blizzard Force, so you can only be used by the Blizzard Force. So yeah, elite stormtrooper units often carry an array of armaments in the battle, ensuring they can bring the full weight of the Empire to bear against the rebels. So yeah, this is quite a nice unit. Not a lot of special to it, but that's what you get the two extra upgrades for. So speaking of upgrades, let's have a look at what we got. Oops, that's it, throw them away. So we get, of course, all our Force cards for Vader. So Saber Throw, Force Choke, and Force Reflexes. We get Aggressive Tactics. We get the T7 Ion Trooper. We get the additional Snow Trooper. We get Recon Intel. We get General Vice for the ATST. So this guy gives you the ability to um take a free action and until the end of your activation you gain arsenal two so you get total of arsenal four as it stacks you got the 88 twin light blaster cannons there a mortar launcher there and a concussive grenade launcher there two long range communications strict orders esteemed leader three fragmentation grenades Imperial Hammers Elite Armor Pilot, so Imperial Vehicle Roll, you get Surge to Hits, that's pretty cool. And then we get the Flame Trooper. So, yeah. So, spray, add this weapon's dice to the attack pool one time for each mini in the defending unit. So, that's pretty cool. But, yeah, there we have it. All right. Uh, let's have another quick look at again the tokens just so we cover everything here so yeah we get quite a lot of tokens here we only get the one type of vehicle damage which is a disabled but you get all your unit tokens plenty of suppression plenty of wounds and plenty of other tokens for each of your units all right Let's pack this way. I'll bring it all in for my final thoughts and the price breakdown. So there we have the Blizzard Force uh, Battle Force starter set for Star Wars Legion by Atomic Mass Games. And I think the future of the Star Wars Legion game is in safe hands. I think with Atomic Mass Games, they really know how to do their skirmish based games. I know Marvel Crisis Protocol is pretty popular at the moment. I have been meaning to get into it. There's quite a few players at my local store. So I might have to pop down one day when they are playing and have a, a demo game as such. But either way, it'd be quite nice to paint something different to then Warhammer and Star Wars for a change. Um, right, before I get into the final thoughts, let's talk about price. So I've already mentioned the additional essentials kit which will be needed if you want to play this without buying a core set. But if you're not buying the, picking up the core set, you are missing out because you get two extra Stormtroopers, more speed of bike, two, extra, two units of Stormtroopers, two speed of bikes, and of course, another Vader, which won't be much use. But you do get, of course, all those extra units. So you get a bunch of um, exclusive upgrades only available in the core set. You get all the dice, of course, you need the dice. You can't play this game without dice, so you get those. And of course, you get all your essentials stuff so your deployment cards 
your objective cards and your weather condition cards and you also get your uh, templates battlefield um markers uh commander markers objective markers and unit identification markers so yeah if you want to pick up the core set you can it's a bit of an expensive set but you do get two forces in there plus everything you need to play right uh, so what I was saying, price-wise, these are £150 RRP. I picked mine up at Ashdown Gaming for £114.95. That was on the pre-order. I believe, though, this has been... Once it's released, you've got about two weeks, I think, to pick it up at a discounted price. Some places will put them back up to retail. It depends a lot on how well they sell, I think. Uh, breakdown of the individual contents. So you get three squads of Stormtroopers. They are $29.99 a box. Two squads of the Speeder Bikes at $29.99 a box. The Core Vader, I've priced him at the same price as all characters, which is $19.99, because he's Core Set Exclusive version. And you get the ATST, which is $59.99, so that is the big um, bundle in the set. Total value of the set then is £229.93, not as much as the Rebels, but you do still get that ATST, which is a beautiful big set and really helps push the side, uh, push the balance for the um, force. Um, I have got a E Web Blaster, which you can also add to the Blizzard Force, so I'm definitely going to be. Um, Adding that to the army. Um, the one thing I do want to try and do is convert the scout bikers into these, the snow troopers on speed bikes, because that'd be pretty cool to have. It'd be simple, I think, to do. I'd need to take a resin cast of a um, snow troopers top half. The bottom half is going to be minimal work, it's mainly going to be shaving off the armour and re-sculpting the legs to look like cloth and bandaging. Then adding on a um, skirt with some green stuff. And then simply just swapping out the arms from the actual scouts. Which again will require a little bit of um, reworking to make it match. I probably could just mould some of the extra arms and then put it into, attach it to the uh, snow trooper bodies itself. But uh, I could always just paint up the scout troopers to match up to the Lego Blizzard Force set, which would be quite, quite nice. So, yeah, there we have it. That is the unboxing for the... Star Wars Legion Blizzard Force set. These are some great sets, brilliant to help you get straight into a single army. As normally you'd get a limited um, selection for two forces in your start set. This gives you a wide selection of units, some big kits as well, including such as the ATST, and gives you a focus of a single faction. Um, definitely would pick this up if I was um, starting out. Snow Troopers, um, as I said in my Rebel video, uh, the Battle of Hoth has always been one of my favourite um, Star Wars battles, and Snow Troopers are so iconic with their um, uh, armour, their uh, flowing robes and such like that for the environmental gear. Um, like I said, some people have painted these up as mud troopers. I've also seen them, and I have done for myself, I've painted up an E-Web Blaster team as the um, Galactic um, Galactic Republic's... Um, oh, I've forgotten the word. Um, Elite Corps or something like that. It's the... Um, dark red and purple-ish sort of colour scheme. I've painted up a squad like that. It does look pretty good on these guys, but yeah, you can paint these up however you wish, of course. 
Personally, I'll be painting these up in Blizzard Force colours, and they'll be going to my winter game board project, which is to make a Hoth themed 3x3 skirmish board to go alongside my Endor board. So I got a set of forces for each of my boards. So if you want to pick this up, check your local supplier for um, availability and different discounts. But even at the uh, RRP, it's still a good bargain. So all that's left for me to do then is to say thank you for watching. If you think I deserve it, please give this video a like. And if you don't already, please do subscribe. It helps the channel get noticed and it means I can bring out more content for you. Uh, there is, of course, my links in the description down below. So check those out. Uh, there's my affiliate links, there's also my social medias and my buy me a coffee which you can use to donate towards the channel. I am also probably going to attach my um, PayPal me for uh, my painting services. So if you want to donate to me that way you can do so. Um, if you are wanting to get in contact my email address will be added to the video description shortly. So you can always get me at that so again thank you all for watching and i will see you next time for more mad content goodbye